Ladies and gentlemen, colleagues and friends, the World Food Day found its origin in the birthday of FLUN on 16th October 1945. This year is a very special one for FAO and for the global fight against hunger and malnutrition. 75 years ago today, out of the debris of the World War II, millions lost their lives in the conflict. Millions more died of the starvation. Farming was devastated. The world needed to rebuild a culture and to meet the most basic of the human needs. Nations come together. FAUN was established first. And we delivered. FAO harnessed everything at our disposal. Expertise, research, Statistics, diplomacy, to have the world produce more, to feed more. In the first 25 years of FAO's existence, farmer output increased by 70%. But feeding the world was not just about more hectares and more tractors. In the second quarter century of the FAO's existence, we worked to make the green revolution greener. And the blue too. We became drawing the world attention to safeguarding the oceans and the seas. We promoted the aquaculture and we targeted and defeated and treated animal disease. The third quarter century saw a greater push for sustainability. We worked to empower smallholder farmers. We promoted a package of solutions for the global food security. We underscored that there was no such thing as an end to hunger without application of innovation, responsible investment, accessible trade of commodities, and empowering women and youth. Of the 75 years, that the FAO has been in existence, we have grown, nourished, and sustained the gift of our soil, the livelihoods of our people, the legacy of our planet. Today begins the next quarter century of FAO story, a time to look back at our successes but also in a measure of the distance left to travel, and more importantly, to look forward to the new era. Clearly, our work is not done yet. After diminishing steadily, and the nourishment is increasing again, too many children are still wasted or stunted. Billions of people cannot afford a healthy diet as civilization moves on. Crucially, the next phase in our history starts amid the wreckage caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. It has laid bare the fragility of our agri-food systems, the precociousness of the agricultural labor force, the thin line that the separates many families from uh, destitution. Dear colleagues and uh, friends, now it's a time to show ourselves ways of the FAO's founders who rose to the occasion 75 years ago. We have made a good start with our comprehensive COVID-19 response and the recovering program. It focuses on data collection, poverty reduction programs, trade and food safety standards, and the protectiveness against the next zoonotic pandemics. But in the longer term, nothing less than a radical transformation of agri-food systems will be needed to bring us closer to the hunger-free world. This, for FAO, presupposes the flat morph agile and modular structure, a relentlessly push for the uh, digitalization, joining the hands across the government, academia, civil society, and the private sector, 
and the constant pursuit of the innovation and the scientific excellence. The world is looking to us to put our actions where our words are, to be think tanker and action tanker rather than do one. Alongside our partners, we must be knowledge generators and facilitators all at once, together in the quest for the ultimate public good, a world free of poverty, hunger, and malnutrition. Tomorrow begins today. So on this World Food Day, allow me to thank and congratulate you, my colleagues and friends. Allow me also to spur you on to the even greater efforts until World Food Day comes when we can look back and say, Mish accomplished. I thank you. <laughs>